Nothing? Huh, just sitting around. Let's look at the movies. I'm tired. We're, we're starting a YouTube channel. We're, we're doing some movie reviews. But I'm hungry. We can eat later. Yeah, okay, this time. Do we have to? Yeah. Now that's more like it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Hi. Welcome to Four Quarters of the Galley Movie Review. I'm so hungry. Hello and welcome to Four Corners of the Galley Movie Review. On this edition of the Movie Review, we're reviewing Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. Ooh. <laughs> the fifth installment in the great Disney Pirates of the Caribbean tradition that all started with a ride and a crazy sailor named Jack Sparrow. Yep, that's how it went. It even changed the ride to be more of the movie. Exactly. So as you all know, Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse on Black Pearl, oh, Curse, Curse of the Black Pearl is the first movie of the title, which is still my favorite and the best of all the bunch. And then after that is, uh, uh, Dead Man's Chest. Yep. Which is, uh, okay movie, nonetheless, then Falls Apart with Outworld Zen. Which is basically, which I would be the end of the trilogy, but then of course, you know, if you make tons and tons of money, you gotta make a fourth one, so they went with Stranger Tides that... Basically, didn't even put him on water. Yeah. And now we come to the newest edition of Dead Man Tell No Tales. So as we join Jack Sparrow and the crew again on their adventure, we get joined by a new villain, and he's other than played other than by Javier Bardem himself yeah. as Salazar. Captain Salazar. Captain Salazar. And I was a ghost pirate who had been cursed by Jack Sparrow when he was just a young... Yes, and they, uh, they they did show some little fun in there. We don't want to ruin all that. But basically, we joined Jack and the crew, and this time people haven't seen Jack for a while. Mm -hmm. And we meet, actually, the son of William Turner and uh, Miss Swan. And then Henry... Is Henry, right? Yeah. Henry... Uh, what's his... Uh, Turner? Turner, yeah, Bootstrap. I want to call him Bootstrap. His grandfather, Bootstrap Bill. Henry Turner, yes. And this is how we start our adventure. We start with actually Henry Turner. We see him as a kid, and they show us this little uh, kind of prequel scene to the whole what's really going to be happening yeah. in the movie. And then they jump us forward another nine years after that, and we have him as a young man with the British Empire being chased by a pi uh, chasing a pirate ship. Mm -hmm. Where on that pirate ship they get led into where Captain Salazar is a. Uh, uh, locked away and then Captain Salazar in the very beginning of the movie tells him to go find Jack Sparrow exactly and that starts us off on this adventure now they did have a great action scene and they do always a good scene with the dead pirates always yeah. in the beginning that was a great dead pirate scene that was fighting and all the good fun stuff that was classic Pirates of the Caribbean but for my taste honestly I feel like this movie just kind of retread every single thing that they've done in the previous four they basically handpicked all the good stuff that they did in the first four and uh, put it all in this one and try to re-ride re out an adventure. I won't lie, they have a really good scene with Jack and his crew that is hilarious that I thought was great. And mm -hmm. towards the beginning of the movie, that, is, that was a, a bigger scene that they've done before, but uh, it was fun altogether. Yeah. But I mean, I still feel like this time they just gave him a younger Will, and then they yeah. brought another lady along, and they made her like the younger uh, Miss Swan. And here we go on our adventure with, with Jack and his uh, cohorts again, and we kind of just did the same stuff. And... Yeah, it was felt like we just kind of really redid the thing again. Yeah, it was very uh, washed out. Work like we've seen it all. Yes. Nothing really new. Yeah, they really didn't expand on anything. And I must say, and Johnny Depp really didn't expand on his character either. He just kind of played the exact same drunken pirate that just stumbles around and gets lucky and does everything. Basically, he didn't even pick up a sword this time. He just kind of was drunk the whole time, and he just you know fall lucky into everything like he normally does. Mm -hmm. I mean. At this point, he really wasn't, he didn't bring no new levity to the character. He just kind of played his role and moved through the character's role. Yeah. I mean, it does have, definitely have some fun scenes. Uh, it definitely does have some good, you know, it, the CGI is to the extreme, of course, and it's got some great pirate scenes, but it does have a whole lot of story that's unnecessary. Yeah. And they just, they just, Unfortunately. Yeah, they just continued on with this franchise. I mean, this is the franchise that will not stop. Um, the first one is a great, great movie. It's fun from start to finish. Great story. Great everything. And then they all just fall apart after that. Two, three, four, and five. Don't never, never equal up to the first one. And never bring back the levity. Which you can say if you think about the Fast and the Furious uh, franchise. 
one was good, two, three, four, and then five yeah, was amazing. Five brought it back. Yeah, so I mean, I we have seen franchises where the fifth one, the fourth one, the third one has reinvigorated the franchise and brought back everything. And I'm sorry to say, but was part, it? yeah, yeah part, it's, it's not this one. This this uh, definitely needs to go away. Hopefully, uh, they don't do Pirate Six for no reason the search of a new world or whatever the heck they're gonna come up with i mean at this point they've expanded on every single mythology you can think of i mean they talked about the fountain of youth this one was about trident poseidon's trident i mean they went for it all on this one so yeah it was uh it was a little deep i, did, I won't deny <laughs> very cheesy at some time yeah now. extremely cheesy they uh they really embellished big on the whole johnny depp i mean you can't admit barbosa being back he was fun and they had the way they did his crew at the beginning and, you know, a bunch of fat, rich pirates with bright colors and having fun. That was cool. But overall, it's the same slapstick story you've already gotten from the previous four. Same exact stuff. You know the twists and turns. They're going to hit you with something deep that you didn't think what you're going to see coming. But really, no one really got any emotional pull from it. It is a fun tale, but I mean, when it really comes down to it, they did these huge ship battles at the end, and it was so dark at some of the scenes, you couldn't even see what was going on, and then they had to go to the extreme of extremes of the final scenes, oh, yeah. and just do some Moses parting of the Red Sea kind of nonsense, and I mean, it was a little much for what they could have done. If they just did a little more story-based and went back to the characters, maybe had a little more fun, it'd be a little different, but I mean, what I will give them is they, they neatly tied up everything at the end, so Technically, it, it should be over. They shouldn't have to go any farther on this. <laughs> We're well, sorry, folks. We weren't hoping we'd bring down your damper, but these summer movies sometimes just don't turn out to be exactly what you expect and what you want them to be. Yeah. <laughs> I would definitely say I'm going to give it a solid C minus. I'll say a 69. I mean, it had some fun entertainment value. I will admit that Mr. Johnny Depp bring it, brought it down. I don't feel like his. Uh, Jack Sparrow character got any better. He just got dumber, and he wasn't really doing. Barbosa was good, and there was a few bright spots here and there. But overall, it just it's just another trip into the fun, crazy land of Johnny Depp and Pirates. I'm going to give it a 70, because there were sprinkles throughout the movie, some really good lines that would get you at times. And although the story was weak and it was cheesy at times, it wasn't the worst out of all the Pirates. Definitely, Definitely maybe a solid third place for the whole franchise. Yeah, that's for sure. But we will suggest you guys go out and uh, rent or buy uh, Curse of the Black Pearl. This one is uh, gold. I definitely guarantee it. That's, this is the one that you want to see over and over again and have no repercussions or feel bad about it. I mean, you can watch it to the end and feel like that's the end of the Pirates saga and move along. Yeah. Well, we'd like to thank you folks for joining us on Four Corners of the Galley Movie Review. Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the, I mean, Dead Man Tell No, I mean, you know, I got so many titles, Dead Man Tell No Tales. <laughs> Until next time, folks, we'd like to thank you and say goodnight, Ted. See you later. Thanks for watching Four Corners of the Galley. If you like what you saw, like, subscribe, and share it down in the comments. If you want to see more, watch Suit and Jacket here, or movie reviews here. Thanks for watching.